Every so often in the world of Animal Crossing, a new fish or bug comes along that sends each and every museum completionist on what feels like a wild goose chase, rushing to find that big catch before they disappear for a few months. In the past, you've seen us struggle with the stringfish and the golden trout, but now there's a new fish in the sea that seems to be just as tricky to get our hands on regardless of how many manila flavored sandwiches we toss into the sea. <laughs> oh, hey there! I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and today we're going to teach you how to catch the giant trevally and the mahi mahi in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And if you've seen our video on the golden trout and the stringfish, you'll know exactly what to expect from here on out. The great thing about the giant trevally and the mahi mahi is that their catch conditions are exactly the same. They both can only be caught when fishing off the pier, and they're also available during any time of day from the months of May to October in the Northern Hemisphere, and the months of November to April in the Southern Hemisphere. The size of their shadow leans more on the larger side, which unfortunately means you'll be catching a lot of olive flounders and, of course, sea bass. Wake me up when it's over. It's all just a dream. Wake me up when it's over. It's all just a dream. You may also catch the occasional oarfish, as the shadow seems to be the same size, but my brain begs to differ in the moment. I think the shadow of the red snapper is also a bit smaller, but if you see one, it's probably still just worth catching anyways, as they trade in for a solid 3,000 bells. Now, if there's one thing that I could share with you that I learned from the last time that I went on this sort of mission, is that you'll want to be prepared to spend a good chunk of time down on the beach. We have absolutely no idea how long you could be down there trying to hunt down these fish. So before leaving home, we recommend crafting up a few extra shovels and fishing rods for your journey, as the last time I found myself running home way too often to craft new tools. It was super annoying. It's also a good idea to bring along a crafting table and plop it right there on the beach for all those clams that you're going to have to be crafting. And boy, you're going to be crafting a lot. By this point in the game, you should be aware of how bait works, but for anyone who is still out of the loop, bait can be used to make a fish spawn in the location you toss it in. And trust us, you're going to want it. You're going to want a lot of it. Bait is made with the manila clams you find on the beach, and it should take you about 15 minutes to dig up and craft about 30 bait on average. Once you think you have enough fishing poles and bait, and of course your favorite fishing attire packed, get yourself out to the pier and start fishing. Now I swear, catching these fish is not as easy as I may make it sound based on this next piece of info I'm about to share. And some of you are probably gonna wanna have my head for this, but the moment I walked out to the pier, I tossed out some bait, and I kid you not, the first fish I caught was a giant trevally. <laughs> My jaw was on the floor. I had myself thinking, man, this isn't going to be so bad at all. I have one central location to fish from. As the great Bubsy once said, what could possibly go wrong? And then after about 75 bait in total, I managed to catch another giant trevally, and another came shortly after I reached the 100 bait mark. So I went back to the beach and crafted up another 80 bait tossed on my trusty Cat Prince outfit, hoping it would bring me a bit of luck, and unfortunately I flew through all of that bait with absolutely no sight of the Mahi Mahi or another giant trevally. I repeated this process one more time still, with no luck. How was this possible? At this point it was late enough that I decided to call it a day and I'll give it another shot tomorrow. So the next day I absolutely went to town and gathered up 120 bait. It's a brand new day, full of fish, surely that should work. But still, I caught neither of the fish we were looking for. I had caught so many sea bass though, by this point, it had me wishing there was a separate Nook Miles tally just for catching sea bass. Like, wh what a blessing and a curse it would be to know that total at this point. And Fang, I see what you're doing over there, I get it, I totally do, but trust me, this kind of fishing just isn't worth it, man. <laughs> but then I realized one thing. And this one thing could honestly have no effect on the whole situation, or it could be the entire reason I wasn't catching any of these fish. In the early parts of my fishing, I was fishing straight on off the dock. And then eventually I switched over to fishing in the corner of the pier, as it gave me more of a clean shot at the fish instead of having to back up and reposition myself each time before casting. Maybe the window these fish spawn in is small enough that the fish were spawning outside of that range. So for those next 75 bait, I stood directly in the front of the pier, facing straight out, hoping 
pleading with the gods of Animal Crossing to release me from these sunken shackles. And after only 27 more bait, the Mahi Mahi was a myth no more. The giant Trevally and the Mahi Mahi had finally been caught, both waiting to be placed in my museum for anyone to see. And you know what? By the end of all of it, I realized something. Fishing with bait is a lot like buying a scratch off or a lottery ticket. You can craft bait until you start seeing clams in your sleep. But no matter how many times you cast your line out into the ocean, you can always be beaten by the RNG. But the one thing we humans will always have is hope. So if you too feel that another 50 bait is just too much, just remember that when it's over, it's over. That is until another new fish becomes available for the season. <laughs> feel free to let us know in the comments down below if you've caught either the giant trevally or the mahi mahi yet yourself. And if you have and you think you have any tips that might make someone else's life a little bit easier when it comes to catching these, feel free to leave that down in the comments below as well. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you go ahead and craft that subscribe button into a bit of bait and then cast it out to sea. And then while you're out there, why don't you go ahead and ring that notification bell too to be notified whenever Alex or I put up a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm ZM from Nintendo Life, and stay safe out there, and we will see you next time. Oh.